So let's see what we got here. Ooh, we seem to be very nicely synced. Yeah, that's really, really right on. That's good. Silver harp right away. So the top one will be of the magic key. So unfortunately, they're not going to, unless they have the spell of return, and there are no. We got Silver Harp, which for some reason never shows up on my tracker, even when I click it. Now, the Silver Harp has been given, give, been given everybody issues on the tracker. Yep, so... So, this... looking... Oh, go, go oh it actually showed up. Good. <laughs> oh, hey, hey. Oh, is that what that is, Yunos? Is that the DW4 tile mod? Oh, am I, am I 10 seconds ahead? Okay. I can fix that. Okay, so hopefully I'm a little bit more in time now. Yeah. Um, you know, uh, <clears throat> Dig Shig just taking a death to a metal, uh, to a you know, the Dragon Lord bre breathing red slime. Those are always fun. And, and up to no good taking a death from a metal scorpion. Oh, so I, I am liking this start already. Attack power is four, and... Uh... You know, a red slime that breathes Dragon Lord fire. So. Oh, it looks like they're not going to be able to damage a magician. They're going to have to go for those. Up to no good. Slimes. Oh. Oh, he can't even hit their red slime. <laughs> so it looks like they're going to grind on some slimes for a little bit. Uh, yeah, Dick Shake's on the left. Oops, I got to update that. What? It happens. Okay, and now Dig Shake just about ready to kill his second slime, and up to no good kills his first. Uh, Chat, am I better synced with the stream now, or am I still ahead? Or give me a little feedback here. Oh, we have the Stones of Sunlight Cave on up to no good side, and we have the Stones of Sunlight. So that's interesting. <laughs> Stones oh, and another stone cave. Oh, no Dig Shake gets level, strength. only gets one more strength. Didn't really see what that cave was. He was in and out of it. Didn't see him move around. And now a scorpion is going to fell the mighty dig. Oh, town. Uh, the metal scorpion's probably going to get him dead before he can get there. All right, so at least now up to no good knows where to go, and he's, he's going to try to uh, dig. Tries to kill oh. the red slime, but forgets they breathe fire. Whoops. I wonder what the percentage on that fire is. I haven't seen metal slime or uh, red slimes do anything other than <laughs> it's seventy five percent. 75% Dragon Lord 2 fire. <laughs> so if you find a red slime, red slime, you run. You run fast. I mean, so so you're just hoping for blue slimes at this point because you got six attack power, but that's still not not, 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 not enough yeah, to attack. You, gotta, even a you have to grind. Yeah, you got to grind on the blue slimes at this point. Oh, and up to no good finds Cantlin. Which is, you know, great because the, the coordinates will be right here as soon as they get, you know, HP and healing capability and, you know, something. Now, hopefully this weapons dealer here sells something nice. Well, chainmail is good to at least stop damage, but there's nothing here that deals damage. So it'll be interesting to see if up to no good actually... Okay, my guess is he's going to look at the other shop in the, in the southeast here probably for a hand axe. So that's my guess. He's hoping a hand axe is there. Mm -hmm. Oh, and look, Drakima's with hurt more. Well, oh, that's dead. This is my kind of seed. <laughs> oh, a club. Yep, that's what he's going to do. He's going to get a club, 
And then I think he's pro oh leather armor. He's not going to go get the chainmail. Interesting. Well, he might want to hope. He's hoping to get some. Uh, he's hoping to get uh, some torches and, and herbs and stuff. Oh, fairy water. Fairy water. Fairy water strats. Hmm. How do I mark that on the tracker? Gold star for up to no good. <laughs> That's the first time in watching these Dragon, War Dragon Warrior matches I've ever seen anybody purchase fairy water. Well, we've talked about it recently with Ness, talking about how that that may be a good strategy because you you, you know you don't have repel. So later on, let's say he doesn't get repel till level sixteen, he's going to be really happy he's got that fairy water. That's very true. And we have a dragon scale on up to no good side. He did purchase it and he did don it. Uh, blink on gone. My guess is that is he's not going to use it right away. He's going to use it later in the seed if he doesn't get repel early. Yeah, it would be later on, and you're you're really counting on not getting repel till later. It's just a pretty easy thing to pick up. It's relatively cheap. But when you're out in the middle of nowhere, walking somewhere, and you don't have repel, you know you'd be glad to have it. I guess it was Big Shake that got the Stones of Sunlight previously. Yes. I put it on. So now they both have stones and they both have the harp. Uh, and uh, I missed the equipment. He picked up uh, up to no good. Picked up the equipment. R up to no me. good. Picked up a club and leather armor. We don't have anything yet for Big. Nothing for Dig. Okay. And it looks like we have. Tablet Cave on up to no good side. So let's see what is the one treasure chest in the Tablet Cave. And it, oh, just the 120 gold in the chest. Well, at least you don't have to fight enemies getting in and out of it. I guess that's the one plus, I suppose. Uh, blink, I'm gone. It is based solely on your, your strength. Uh, the repel formula, and I, I think it's based purely on strength. I don't know what the formula is. Maybe somebody in chat does, but I do know it's it relies solely on on strength, just like when you're trying to escape, when you're trying to run. So now we've got Dig looking for some blue slimes. He's getting some too, so or up to no good. Mm -hmm. I, now I'm backwards on these two. <laughs> so this this grind, even to level two, up to level three, will go quicker for up to no good because he's got a club. You don't think it makes a big difference, but it's a you know that's a four attack power difference. Right, and that club could be the different. Uh, I mean, it's pretty much the difference between you know one or two hitting a slime, or you know, not. Right, you know where now once uh once up to no good hits level two, he'll be able to take down. He'll be likely to take down red slimes. He won't have to run from. He probably could now. Yeah, here's here he's attacking. Went nope, not quite. But level two mm, might, nope. might help him do that. Yeah, hopefully. Alright, so what's the level two experience here? Uh, yes, Blink, I'm gone. Um, uh, Repel would weed out metal slimes for sure because their defense power is so much lower. <laughs> Angry Larry, that's a very technical walkthrough. <laughs> <laughs> it, is, it is settled. <laughs> is that level three by Dig Shake? Nope. Um, but level two by. Was it? Uh, no, I don't think he's gotten there yet. But up to no good, hit level two. So we, we, you know, that's a four point attack power difference. Although he's still only doing two damage, but that's probably his low.
Yeah, it's going to be unlikely. For so him. here. Oh, go ahead. So here we have now the wonderful one point at a time grind. <laughs> Randomizer. It's exactly what I hoped for. <laughs> it is. So I can blame you. You can blame me. <laughs> so again, these you know you would think ten attack power. Man, maybe you could take down a red slime, but really he's still only going to do up to four damage. It's it's still really unlikely to take down a red slime because of that seventy five percent dragon lord breath. Got to wait the blue slimes out. Yeah. And I and they didn't get any agility going from one to two. Nope. So, and their agility is, yeah, for 12, for level 2, that's not bad at all. I mean, we have magicians with stop spell and hurt. So, be a long, have to be a long and lucky hit, but certainly, certainly. <laughs> they also have hurt, done. too. Yep. And it's, uh, Magicians have hurt, too, so that makes them a little bit un not feasible right now. Yeah. Because yeah, they can barely damage them. Well, at least Dig can barely damage a magician. I'm sure up to no good can only probably whack him for one. So they got 12 HP, and you're hitting one at a time or missing. So yeah, it's just not. It's not going to happen. Ah, up to no good does yep. take down a red slime. So that's something that Big Shake is not going to be able to do at all. Nope, we have a level here on Dig Shake Side. Let's see. Oh, five power is nice. Nine is speed is nice, and it's going to help. Still no spells. Level close. three, and they have no spells. Yeah, he's killing those. So he's it'll it'll speed up a little bit here to experience at a time. Yeah, he might even be able to hit that. Yeah, except now there. I think the big difference is the big difference I think right now is going to be that up to no good once it gets to level three should be able to take down a magician right. much easier than Big Shake. Yeah, it's going to come down to who can get that magician first. <laughs> Low grind. And there's the hurt spell that Dig doesn't want to see. Yeah, and according to the stats, he's just as likely to do the stop spell as the hurt spell. So... Yeah, that's it. And Dig falls again. Gotta try This it. is a rough start. I mean, mm -hmm. with... I mean, it, the, the first time he attacked him, I think he hit stop spell two or three times in a row. So you're thinking, there's got to be a stop spell coming. Right, and it just doesn't come. Now, as long as the scorpion doesn't cast sleep, <laughs> never mind. And there it is. <laughs> I believe they call this the commentator's curse for a reason. Yeah. Oh, look. Z awakes, and he's going to use an herb. And the scorpion puts him right back to sleep. He has what? literally no chance of taking on a scorpion. Just absolutely no chance. He'd have to have an excellent move, which, hey. Eh? Yeah. Well, because of the herbs, I guess, he has a decent shot at this. And he does. He pulls it off. What a kill. Oh, I was, I was very wrong. And now he's going to try to take out a magician. He's got like some confidence tombs, now. Well, with those herbs, that's the difference. And so herbs. Big Shake has no herbs. He never found Cant Lin. That early exploration by up to no good is uh, making a big difference here. And the other big difference is that also, remember, up to no good reset every time he died. So he kept the gold, that 600 gold he got out of the throne room. Right. Dig is down to 25 gold pieces, which is barely enough to buy a couple herbs, or I think one herb. You have level four now. I mean. Oh, and he gets outside at level four. That's a big help. <clears throat> but now he's taken off because of that equipment, because of the herbs. Um, because here, Dig Shake, he has. Literally no chance to take down the scorpion. Um, he can't even attempt it. Oh. Oh, boy. Yeah, mm -hmm. Whoops. <laughs> oh, it's no good. Gets, mm -hmm. gets, gets, you know, axed upside the head by an AK-47. Whoops. <laughs> well, I guess we won't explore over there yet. I would hope not. I love that he's using the ROM that has the different tile set. When I first started playing Dragon Warrior on emulator, I downloaded a, a ROM that I could find, and that was the one I found. I'm like, why does this look different? I f somebody finally told me. Uh, they do play perfectly the same, but uh, 
I don't know why is what is why what's the reason for the difference in the look? It's a different ROM. And let's see, we got a fire breath on Dig Shake side and a, and a droll that ain't killable on up to no good side. This is wonderful. <laughs> Will he wake up? Yep. Keep waking up. These scorpions are really valuable. Because I believe the next level is somewhere in the in the eighties, I believe. You know what? Yeah, I want to pull that up. I want to have that handy. It would be nice to know exactly what the levels are. But we're doing this. Is is this seventy five percent XP? Seventy five percent. Yes, sir. It'll be pretty easy for me to do that calculation in Excel. Well, that's what I'm going to work on for a second. All right, and I will continue commentating on the the one by one by two by three <laughs> grind dig shake finally hitting level four gets a ton of MP in level four, but I don't think a lot else. So we've got both of our runners now happily at level four. I don't know how happy at this point, but yeah. <laughs> I, I'm, tr I'm trying to put a good spin on things here, okay? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We appreciate it. And now it looks like Dig is trying to take down a magician. And the magician takes him down. Up to no good. Looks like he's taking another scorpion. Oh, Dig Shake is now exploring south and west a little bit. Oh, look, it's a specter. Okay, successfully runs and... Southwest of the castle is really not much. Now Dig is uh, Dig's going to try to take down a scorpion. Oh, and we have oh I didn't miss the level. We have up to no good now at level five. Oh look, trolls have dragon lord breath. Back to the castle with you, sir. <laughs> So, uh, Dig Shakes at level... F no, uh, up to no good is level 5. Got it. Got up to no good is 5. Yep. Got it. Why it's not updated. Oh, I just didn't click it hard enough, I guess. Yeah, just smack it a little bit. It'll eventually <laughs> catch up. Smack it. Alright, I have the experience levels listed here, so... We'll come in handy. All right, so looking, wow, there was a, quite a significant strength upgrade from four to five, but that really looked to be about it, is just a significant strength upgrade. That's it. Of course, Dig has to get to level five before he can see that. That club right now is, that club purchase is really paying off now for yep. up to no good, now that he can, you know, smack things for... Quite a bit more damage than Dig Shake can. Oh, Dig Shake now has managed to get southeast of the castle. He won't have the money and for... And runs in... Well, he might have... No, yeah, he won't have the money for even a club. That's that's a just such a good move for up to no good to venture out like that. Um, mm -hmm. Made a huge difference. <clears throat> and hey, look, the droll did not fire breath up to no good back to the castle. And now, up to no good, it's taken down a druid, it looks like. Yeah, that was a pretty easy uh, druid, so no no weird attacks, nothing crazier. Here, so druids are going to be a good uh, good fight for them. Ooh, they, oh, we just saw Healmore is mm -hmm. now at level, is the going from level 4 to 5. And now it looks like he's going to try to take down a wolf, slowly but surely. 
with healers and herbs, this wolf will be nice boost of experience. As long as all the wolf does is attack. Um, oops. Yeah, commentator's curse again. Good, keep it up. <laughs> no, come on, we don't. We don't want to be here three hours. We've already had one one three hours in this tournament. Let's not make it two. Yeah, those, yeah. Well, you know, if this is you know slow start, but really things are things are going pretty smoothly now. It's not one of those early hurt mores. It's just the maybe pretty straightforward. You know, he's got plenty of enemies he can hit. He's he's taken down a. He's got heal more, so he could take down this this metal scorpion. Uh, so things like yeah, that. Yeah, as long as he kind of plays. Yeah, as long as he kind of plays it slow and you know just attacks, gets in a couple of double attacks, heals himself, attacks, and you know, as long as he plays it slow, he should be just fine. Yep. So he'll, he'll that that's going to be a, a huge chunk of experience. Ooh, magic! Oh, Diggs found magic drakeys. These are nice little Ooh. experience boosts for him, really and they're close easy to, to take down. Castle too. So that's a different zone up there. I wonder what else is in it. He doesn't have that heal more though. Is the is the thing? He doesn't have heal Not yet, more or herbs. I mean... Oh, oh, the magic drake he gets him again. That trip to the town, having the herbs. That that dig shake didn't have it. Couldn't even take the magic drake he down. Man, that hurts. Yeah, this. Yeah, this. Yeah, up to no good is certainly in a very good position here right now. I mean, once dig gets to the next level and gets that twelve strength bonus, he will be in a better position but it's still not going to be great but he'll be in a better position I mean, look at him look at look at up to no good taking down a specter even just crazy the experience he's able to get with the, the stats and equipment that he has he might not be able to finish it off though if he can get it oh like specter gonna, have heard that. that's not good doesn't look like he's going to pull off he still has some herbs though he'll use those herbs He's got a lot of herbs. I think he'll pull this off. Oh, dig finding some ghosts. That'll help him. Well, ghosts, magic drakeys. I didn't see what else is in that zone, but those are too good. I, I, yeah, I haven't seen them either. Oh, Drakima. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay. Dig runs because Dreamers have Dragon Lord Breath, and that's not good right now. If he doesn't get this Spectre, what a you know, just a drain of time. Oh, he got, does get oh, the Spectre, so that it. should take him to level six. Holy smoke! Let's see what we got here. Yep. Ugh. Nice magic. Oh wow! And yeah. hurt more. There we go. All right, here we go. Now the seed gets going to open up. So it ends up being an early hurt more seed. Not super early, but he'll jump levels quick here. Whereas, you know, Big Shake, it's going to be a while before he's level 6 at this rate. I mean, he's got to get yeah, to 100, 165 experience. Uh, Warlock. Warlock's the other enemy in that zone, so... Meanwhile, you're going to have up to no good, hitting 50 to 100 experience every enemy when he can. Those hurt more. Mm -hmm. This is, uh, this is, he's gonna take right off. Now he can explore. Oh. Yeah, surfing, surfing, and surfantizer. Dig. Those herbs made all the difference. All the difference. Yep. Yep, absolutely. And now Dig gets to level 5. He got that big 12. Mm -hmm. um, he got that big 12 strength bonus, so now this is going to be a little bit better. Oh, he gets whacked by an AK-47. He can't get through that zone. One in this case. He's been trying to get through that zone. That's, that's twice now. He's trying to get through that zone. Can't get through. Alright, so Dig needs to get to, yeah, to 165. You know, the thing is, though, I mean, it might take him a little longer to get to level 6, but depending on how up to no good leverage is this, you know, he's doing some grinding here. Oh, he's going to go after that Armored Knight. Oh, my word. 
he's going to get it. That is incredible. You know, where, that's some real nice experience. Where before there were he wasn't even trying to get through. He was trying to grind on him. I didn't even think I was. Oh, and there's another town right north of Cantlin that we have not seen yet. If this is coal with an armor, or that that'd be huge right now. We got red dragons today. with with the armored knights, so that's not. Oh, too... look! It's the fun police. <laughs> Maybe not the best grinding zone right now. However, a couple more of those Axe Knights and he'll be on his way. It's Hawksness. The, the town north of Cantlin is Hawksness. Okay. Oh, and Dig runs face first into the fun police. <laughs> face first. With his face. Mashed in. Pretty literally. <laughs> All right, so now we're going into Cantlin to buy more herbs, I'm guessing? That's my guess. Probably an in-stop as well. Nope, doesn't have enough for an in-stop. I mean, if he, it depends on what he buys here. Oh, he died. He didn't need an in-stop. So, my guess is he's going to go north and he's going to see Hawk's Nest. Wouldn't surprise me to... To, you know, pokes his head in and takes a look at what enemy is in the spot. Yeah. He's in he, the boss spot. Let's see. So, Because uh, if it's an Axe Knight, he could really take that take down an Axe Knight, and given how close it is to Cantlin, that's going to be a heck of a grinding spot. Well, and, and so Axe Knight, Armored Axe. Knight, he could take down just fine. Uh, Stone Man, mm -hmm. uh, no chance. Golem, no chance. Red Dragon, no chance, but Blue Dragon, he'll probably try some Hurt Moors on, so it just depends on what he gets. Yeah, yeah, Blue Dragon would be very much RNG heavy. Because I believe Hurt Moor has a 50% chance on working on Blue Dragons. Boy, these Spectres are nice. Well, even, yeah. even if he doesn't take the enemy down, there's some good grinding in here. Seven yeah. more XP, and so, he's on level he 8. And what do we have here? We have an Axe Knight. This oh, is the goodness. best case scenario for up to no good. This is the absolute best case scenario. He's going to search. What does he get? He's I yeah. would hope he searches oh, after after this level. Let me get the level, yep. No. Oh, look at that. Look at that level. Other than no strength, that's really not a bad level at all. So he gets and the, he gets, oh, the token. And the token. It's the token. And now I think he's... I'm a little surprised that he's not going to grind a little bit. Well, he probably wants to explore. Wants to keep exploring. Now that he's strong enough. That's my guess. Meanwhile, Dick Shake's almost to that pivotal pivotal, pivotal level 6, where he's going to get that hurt more. But uh, when you've got yeah, a... So, really... you got a 600 experience but, lead, though. Well, I mean, it it could be a lot worse for Dig Shake. Mm -hmm. This really isn't as far as how far behind he is. Yep, we'll see how up to no good. Could be a lot worse. Uh, how efficient he is. He has to be efficient here to stay ahead. Mm -hmm. All right, so now we're headed north and we're taking a look. <laughs> I am, uh, uh, yep, okay. We'll just move right along from that little desert finger there. <laughs> Finger. You can interpret that so many ways. Oh, is that a spark over bridge? I don't think it is. No, there's a. Uh, I haven't been able to see it. And I'm pretty sure Dig is now doing a little dance, given that he just got hurt more. It's game on for him. Yep. Uh, I gotta do that level four. And up to no good gets to level nine. So we've got an eight, eight hundred experience gap, which isn't impossible. Oh yeah, metal slime. It's sig Ooh, let's see. I think he's still. I mean, it's a significant up. gap. It's a significant gap, but it's not. Oh, but it's not prohibitive oh, at man. this point. And oh, oh, he got away. It's a metal oh, slime down to two. Hate that. 
Like they're, it, it almost feels like they're programmed to run at two hits. So this is going to be interesting to see what Dig does now that he has hurt more. Is he going to take a chance in the Hawksness? No. Okay. I mean, with this being an elimination race, we got to take some chances. It'll be interesting to see what kind of risks the uh, players take. You know, they both have that in mind. This is elimination. This is, right. I mean, I don't see why Dig Shake wouldn't go in and try to see what's in that spot. Having heal more and hurt more. No good as an axe knight down. Yep. Looking for fifteen hundred experience for level ten. And a golem. Ah, golem with hurt more. <laughs> Ain't oh. that cute. <laughs> At least they're pretty easy to run from. So this That's a good give... thing. Oh, another metal sign. This gives uh yep, this gives Dick Shake the next level, so we'll catch up a little bit here. Unless uh, no good gets this line, which then of course would catapult him quite a bit ahead. Nope, excellent move on the metal slime. Nice. nice. Wow. So that'll give him uh, not quite another level yet. Got to get to fifteen hundred. Oh, at least the Wraith Knights only have baby breath. Why? Oh, he was low on MP. I'm like, why didn't Dick Shake heal? But he doesn't have herbs and he didn't have any MP, so... Right. That's the way it goes. Ooh, cave underneath all that swamp. Yeah, wow. Well. What do we have here? We have. You could go it's be up. the grave. Uh, or yep. swamp. Grave or swamp south. I can't tell which. Oh, he's going outside. Had, it's, it's had to have been swamp south, given that he's. Oh, he's got yep, keys. And, and he's got so, enough gold to get to fill up on keys. Mm -hmm. What a That's move. huge. That is huge. But that, that one cast just really put this. Right now, up to no good has a huge edge. Um, and we have the dragon scale on Dig Shake's side. Did, did up to no good get the dragon scale? Yes. Okay. Remarked it. Well, this is fascinating. With the treasury, well, I mean, it may not make a big difference if the treasury doesn't have anything. Pivotal in it, but the odds, oh, but the odds are usually that it does. Sword. You know, usually Let's has got here. gold. I mean, he could he could go out and in to grind on gold if he wanted to. We got a death necklace. Death necklace. That's a nice little thing. Chooses to drop the torch because he does have a lot of MP and he has radiant. So oh, it's a sword. Oh my! Oh, gosh. that's huge. This is that is absolutely huge. Hard, hard to see. I mean, how does Dick Shake make up for that? You know, I oh that's oh that is so big. So is now given there was a, there was some decent armor in Cantlin. So I'm wondering mm -hmm. if he's going to grind a little bit for some armor. I mean, even if you got to for use... gold for gold for the armor. Uh, let's see, were there two gold chests? There were. So yeah, fourteen hundred a piece or twelve hundred yep. a piece. Y you know, he could go in, do that five times, go buy some more keys, do that again, depending on how much you know he wants to do that. Well, there was a full plate there, and I'm pretty sure the full plate cost three thousand. So my guess is or he's more. only going to go to yeah. three thousand. Yeah, I didn't. Well, I mean, I'm sure there's because he can always set up a he can always set up a, a grind later if he finds the silver shield. Mm-hmm. Please and go. I'm wondering if he's going to take this opportunity to go to Cantlin and also get the coordinates. 
Yep, he'll get the coordinates. And if there's a large shield, he'll buy the large shield as well, I'm sure. Mm-hmm. Oh, what a run for him. Oh, checking Facebook. I wonder if it's just better to go out of the town and come back in sometimes. Yeah. Alright, the there's the full plate. Yeah, and there's the silver shield. So he'll just set up a gold grind when he can and he'll just be off to the races then. So, Oof. you know, you think from Dick Shake's perspective, he's going, wow, this is just a trolley seed. It's going to be a long seed. He's going to, you know, because he's not doing anything wrong per se. It was just that early exploration on level one. Mm -hmm. uh, so Dick Shake's going to be very surprised, um, you know, when he finds out what the first 35 minutes were like for up to no good. Twenty north, seven east. That is oh, easily man. findable. I mean, so uh, it's got to be, it's got to be the armor because we have the token. Yeah, we no. don't have the fairy flute. It could the be fairy the fairy flute. flute. And then the armor would be then in coal. Coal. That's right. Uh, I'm sorry, I forgot about coal. But if that's I yeah, forgot. but if that's the armor, this is that's just friggin' God. nuts. This would be a short seed that did not look like it would be a short seed. Look at this sync up, by the way. <laughs> Coming out of the throne room, they were totally synced so... up. <laughs> no, nah, yeah, okay, more keys. That's what he's doing. Yep, okay, like, well, why isn't he just uh... leaving and going to search right away? But okay. Oh, so it's going to be in that swamp, it looks like. Mm -hmm. Oh, looks like Dig's going into Hawksness. It looks like he's going to try to take on the enemy in Hawksness, the which right we move. both know is going to be a very good... It's the, absolutely the right move. This will give him a level level 8 as well, because he'll hit a couple specters. So he'll need, uh, he needs 80 more, so when he takes down the Axe Knight, that'll give him level 8. So Making progress. You know, I, I did... What do you say about this at this point? It was the armor. I, was it? What? It was the yeah, armor? Yeah, it was the armor. What oh. do you say? What do you say at this point? <laughs> <laughs> I would love to hear Chat's opinion. <laughs> I, 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 I seriously want up to no good to buy me some lottery tickets right now. <laughs> I, he's just doing everything in the right order. I mean, this is ridiculous. Oh, we got uh, Dick Shade's going to grind a little bit on those uh, Axe Knights, which... Up to no good decided not to do. We were surprised at that. Uh, yeah, so this is going to at least catch Dig up as far as some um, experience goes. But yeah, he got sniped. I don't. I. I <laughs> unless Dig Shake goes and finds that the you know the, the, that swamp cave behind that behind the swamp. Uh, oddly enough, or. Uh, Right now, maybe Dig could. does some exploration, goes to find Rimmeldar. I well, mean, that would catch him up quick. That's right, because he doesn't have keys at all. I was going to say he'd go to Cant Lynn, but right. he can't get the coordinates. Yeah, he'd have to find Rimmeldar or find that swamp cave. Nope, Dig buying chain the chainmail so he can take a little bit of damage. He still doesn't have a weapon, does he? Nope. Oh, and it looks like he's going to go grind in Hawksness. It's the... All he needs is to find the caves. Trade the harp in. Yep, the two caves. And trade, that's it. Mm -hmm. He doesn't need to look, unless, I mean, because yeah. he's, he, unless he wants to find the fighter ring, but he doesn't need to look in any caves. Nope, he doesn't need to look. He, all, all up to no good needs to do now is grind, find the silver harp cave, find the the jerk cave, and well, find Sherlock. Well, yeah, Dude, but it's just it's exploration. That's unbelievable. Yeah, that's all he has to do he is, is exploration. He is go so. Mode. Yeah, I bet you he's going to work up. He's probably going to work up enough experience to get to, I don't know, maybe until he gets the repel spell. And then it's just game on. But wait a minute now. 
Level 10, I missed that. Dig is approaching that swamp. But he's not going down. <sighs> oh, there's Sherlock. Oh, my God. Oh, it's so close. Sherlock is... Mm -hmm. It's just north of that swamp that up to no good took. Yeah, if he would have gone through that swamp, uh, he would find that mm -hmm. that swamp cave and... Oh no, I don't see him making up for this. Well, you never, I, never say never. Never say never. You never know. At least Dig is starting to catch up and experience a bit. Oh, he does have the repel spell. Okay, missed that. Yeah, I did too. Oh, he got to level 11. Yep. Oh, he got to level 11. Oh, my goodness, oh, that I... HP. <laughs> what was that a boost of? Uh, he went is, from... Those 10, 10 HP? 94. Jeez. Oh. Oh, so he's, is... he's got enough HP and MP, so that's not going to be an issue. It's just a matter of the strength. He's taken. Look at he's yeah. taken down a red dragon. And his agility is pretty low too. Yeah, yeah agility but, and uh, I mean, he's got a ways to go with stats, but it doesn't look like HP MP is going to be an issue. No, yeah, it's the strength. It's the strength and to a certain extent the agility too. But whoa! All right, so now it's just the hunt, the hunt for the caves. Which with repel. And I would imagine <laughs> if. I would imagine also if and when up to no good finds towns, he's going to go in towns and at least try to pick up... Oh, look, town! He's going right. to try to pick up a small shield, or a large shield, I bet. Yeah, exactly. Oh, look, they're going to they're gonna do a high five! <laughs> a high five in Breconary! Unbelievable. No shield there. He didn't check the other shops in, um... He didn't check the other shops in Can't Win. So there could be a large shield there. But I don't see him taking he, uh, time he, to go in a cave and set up a the gold southeast shop. Oh, did he? He okay. checked the southeast shop, but he didn't check, he didn't check the, the, the uh, shop behind the door. So... Well, he's, he's, he's not going to go... I don't see him going in the mountain cave and hey, maybe I don't know. I don't. I, I wouldn't. I would not take the time to do a gold grind if I didn't need to go into those caves. I wouldn't take the time to go in them. So I'm looking for a large shield, exactly like you said. Mm -hmm. Unless, unless he can't find any shields anywhere, and just for whatever reason, you know, maybe he just doesn't stumble into coal ever. Yeah, and then and then so in that case. You know, let's say you do find all the towns and you don't see a large shield, then you know that your other opponent isn't going to either, so maybe you do take the time to grind for it then. Yeah. And Thick Shake finds Garenham, oh, a which also has a silver shield. 21 power increase for level 12. And we have a half plate purchase on Thick Shake's side. Still no weapon. I'm sure he was probably hoping for, like, a hand axe or something. Well, maybe not. I mean, right, with her yeah. Mother, but... Yeah, I'm sure. But... And now, okay, so now... Oh, Spark Over Bridge! Oh, so, oh, and there is... And so he'll There's trade in his Silver Harp Cave. Oh, he finds the jerk cave. He's got the the rainbow drop. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, coming up on a fifteen hundred, sixteen hundred experience gap. 
Um, with up to no good taking down blue dragons almost like they're blue slimes. He's landing hurt mores on them, which is pretty cool to see. A lot of times they'll escape them. Or, uh, I don't know what you'd say, are resistant to them. Avoid. Yeah. Nope, man, nothing up there. So, really, the only chance Dig Shake has at this point is if it takes up to no good forever to find the jerk. Yeah. But based on what he's doing, he's not just wandering around. It looks like he's... he's Because he pauses when he sees the cave, so you know he's mapping. Um, unless something, unless mm -hmm. the jerk cave's tucked away in some obscure spot that he just doesn't find. That's That's really the long shot. Here we got the fairy flute. So, so Dig Shake now knows that the armor is at the search spot. Oh, oh, and there's a small shield for Dig. He's feeling that deficit of keys. You know, he's just he's just going, where are these mm -hmm. keys? Where are the keys? Where are the keys? That's... And we happen to know that the, the sword is in the treasury, so... The one... Right, so once Dig Shake gets a key, this... Seed again could really take off for Dig Shake, but is it going to be soon enough? That's going to be the question: is is it going to be soon enough? With the other races going on tonight, we're going to really have to tell people to watch this one. This one's you really only have to watch the first half hour to get the story of the seed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, like, we'll see. Comebacks can happen. Yeah. Hashtag New England Patriots. I'm a Bills fan. You, don't right. speak their name. Sorry. <laughs> I, can't, I, can't, I can't help that, man. I'm a Lions fan, so I, what, what can I say? Oh. Yeah. That's a nice agility gain there for well, that up to no good for level 13. It definitely helps. 13 agility gained there, and he's got the Harp Cave, so that uh, gives him the staff. He's looking for Jerk, and he's Jerk and a shield. He might even forget the shield. I mean, depends on what the stats give him. Well, at least there was a small shield in coal. But he may not even need to find coal. I mean, like if he well, never, no, he's not going to need to he, find coal. But if he, if he stumbles into coal, yep. I'm sure he'll look. He'll check. Yeah. Small shield would make a would 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 still make quite a difference. Oh, and Dig Shake finds the jerk. All right. Well, that's interesting. So he's got the drop, but he doesn't have any keys. But when he's when he does finally find them, he's got a way. He's that jerk cave's right on a little peninsula too. It just juts out of nowhere. Yeah, that jerk cave is tucked away. Oh, I'm sorry, Larry. Yep, Bills wife of a Bills fan. Gotta love it, right? <laughs> <laughs> no wonder. No wonder Larry's so angry. Oh, and he was in high school too. Oh, so you're my age, Larry. Yeah, wasn't those wasn't the morning after those losses fun? <laughs> <sighs> and yep, there is a small shield for up to no good. Well, he's feeling better now that he at least, at least has a shield. Gives him that yeah, four. Interesting. He does get the fairy flute. Oh, why not? If you're trying to run from him, oh. Well, and at least, or or if he decides to find a spot, where he's grinding on him. Uh, seven eight. What's the odds of up to no good not finding the drop? Zero point uh, zero seven. <laughs> he's going to find it at some point. The question is when. It was kind of tucked away in a peninsula, um, so maybe he doesn't find it quick. He's going to find it. It's just a matter of when. Depends on how good his mapping is. I mean, and yeah. and if he searches everything except that one spot till the end. But even so, 
Big Shake doesn't even have keys yet. So. And we haven't seen Rimmelder. Rimmeldar. Yeah. We haven't seen that place. So even if Dick Shake were to find keys and were to get the sword and the armor, he's still almost 2,000 experience behind. Now he has 2,000 experience behind. That's the story here. It's just finding it late. He mm -hmm. just there's no way to no way to catch up. Unfortunate because Dick Shake has done nothing wrong in terms of playing the seed out, you know. Yeah, I mean, really, Dick Shake has really not done anything wrong. It's just, well, the only quote unquote mistake Dick Shake needs is he didn't go through that swamp, but you can't blame him at that level. Right. So, yeah. Um, 78, yeah, it's the last thing he needs. The rainbow drop is the last thing he needs. And then I'm not sure if he can go Dragon Lord kill at this level. No. But it's basically. Find the rainbow drop and grind a couple levels. I think that's what it comes down to. For up to no good once he finds the rainbow drop. Uh, just just so you want, in case you want to know, there's an exactly 0% mm -hmm. chance of beating the Dragon Lord at this level. <laughs> really? Okay. Yeah. What's, it, what, what's he missing? Strength, I'm guessing? Uh, it's, it's the story of... Uh, it's the story of attack power and, uh, okay. and strength. I mean, attack power and agility. Um, okay. You're only doing three to seven each time. So you still, you don't even have enough heal morphs for that. Plus your physicals are going to do 54 at most. Oh, he does find the jerk cave. But it's grind and, grind and, and done. Well, he's got to be so excited. That's, that's all up to no good. Yeah, up to no good is now in pure grind mode. So he'll go back to, I'm guessing, Hawksness. Yeah, it's got, I mean, because, I mean, having an Axe Knight in Hawksness, I mean, that is one of the best, you know, experience point to time ratio you can get. So, we would like to see a big boost in agility. And so we need about, we need about, he could get away with 13 attack power more. 127 is pretty much the threshold. Um, he's got plenty of okay. MP. Um, well, it depends. I mean, he could get away with 5 and 6 attacks, too, if he's got enough MP. Oh, um, no. Why did he put the death necklace on? I think it was a miskey. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Is he trying to suicide and he used the... Oh, my word. He does know where Bretonary oh, is. Oh, no. How, how familiar is he with the game? Does he know he can get it uncursed? Does he know he can get it removed in Yeah, Breconary? but where's Breconary? You can't even heal up. You can't even get your MP. Right. He went in Breconary at some point. Yes, he did. Now the question is, is he even going to bother healing up? Or is he just going to grind and hope he gets enough HP? That's an unfortunate move right there. Those are the kinds of things that would have to happen for Dig Shake to have a chance. No, oh, he's going to go do some grinding anyways. Well, he can still, I mean, he can still, there's a town right below him, Cant Lin. He can just mm -hmm. go to the inn there. He doesn't need Tana Gel. Mm -mm. So because those towns are so and close, that's kills a the dragon thing. Though. Well, that was an interesting development. Didn't see that coming. Didn't, no, not at all. So this, that might be what gets Dig Shake back in this if the next few levels for Up to No Good are more strength-based than HP-based. I mean, he's, he's he's staying within a level. He's twenty, still 2,200, 2,200 behind. And... All right, so let's see what this level brings. No, a, no HP. Oh no. no! No agility either, was it? Nope. No, no, one uh, agility. Maybe one or two. One response speed. That's that's not the kind of level he wants. <laughs> is... uh, you know, uh, Death Necklace was in the treasury right next to the Erdrick Sword. So unfortunately, yeah, the treasury. What this means is. 
up to no good is going to have to grind, depending on the levels. Let's say they're all low HP levels. He's going to have to grind, in that case, much further than Dig Shake because of that death necklace, unless he goes to Breconary and takes it off. Exactly. It's Yeah, it's... That's that's exactly the choice he's going to have. Is, I mean, does he go he, to break if, Mary? Even if he gets a a, a a ten HP level, well, you take twenty percent off that. You know, he's he's only getting eight. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't know. That is a very good question. I don't know if the death necklace will generate or uh, not. No, it's gone. No, because okay. you, because it was in the throne room. I think normally you could go back and pick it up in the chest, but it was in the throne. Was it room. in the throne room? I thought it was in the treasury. Oh, was it? Oh, okay. He could go back in treasury and get it then. Yeah, he could go back and get it because you could. If it was oh, in the treasury, it'll be oh. gold. No, it'll be gold. I did that once, and I went to try to go. Big get Shake it again. may have just. Here it is. Dick Shake's got get it. His keys. So that death necklace, depending on the HP gains, it's all going to come down to whether or not there's a huge HP level. Because if there is not, then up to no good's going to have to grind a level or two extra. Dick Shake has a chance now. It's no longer as important that the experience, unless he takes that curse belt off or that uh, death necklace off. All right, so we have gotten confirmation from several people in chat that Death Necklace can only be obtained once. Oh, and we're is, just going to find it right now. He Go is going to, up to no good, is going to be kicking himself. I don't know how familiar he is with the game. Does he know Breconary is where you can get that thing taken off? I don't he, know. He's got to know. He's an experienced, I would pretty experienced player. I would hope. We'll see, though. All right, so now I would imagine we're going to see Dig Shake book it to Cantlin, <laughs> yes. get the get the coordinates, find Erdrick's armor, and yeah, because he just got the sword. Got, he just got the sword. We've got a race. This we've is, got a race. So they're they're about to have the same equipment, and depending on levels, the, the extra level may not be that important to, uh, or the experience gap may not be that important. He's going to be excited to see that it's low, low, uh, low steps for the armor. So he'll that get it's that countable. Quick. Mm -hmm. This is, I did not see this turn of events. <laughs> One little move. Unbelievable. Uh, Steph, Severin, it's hard to say. I don't think Dig's going to be that worried at this. Well, that's true. Because of the keys. He's thinking at 57 minutes in, he's thinking up to no good, got keys way before me. Because you got sword and armor. Surfins, surfinis, I don't know how to pronounce that name, so I'm going to call you Surf. Surfentizer. And surfentizer. Surfin, surfinitzer. Surfentizer, got it now. <laughs> uh, the average <laughs> is usually about an hour and a half. Uh, although, yeah. last night and tonight, we've had a couple of short ones. If this one... This I would one. say anything... Anything 75 minutes and under, you would say is an exceptionally quick seed. Anything in the hour 15 to hour 45 would be average. Yeah, that sounds good. And anything 145 and over is probably, it, it, the seed screwed you over at some point. Right. All right, we have level 15. Gotta be HP. It has to be HP. There it is. That There's helps. some, but not enough. Yeah, but if that's the kind of levels he can get. Now, 98 is enough. That's that threshold. 90, 98 is the threshold. If he had a silver shield, I think. Because he doesn't have... A, I think the silver... Because I think Dragonlord Breath can only do up to 48. See, he's, he's looking at it right now. I think he's considering going... Yeah, the yeah but look how low his defense power is, though. Well, the, uh, Dragon Lord attack is going to hurt him. Yeah, the agility too is so low, mm -hmm. but he's got enough MP to have to deal he's with. He's got to go another level. The thing, the thing is, the agility. He probably wouldn't even make it down. Well, plug it into your little formula yeah. program there. Five, what, five what's and his and percentage? Percent, five and a half percent. Yeah, which is is surprising that it's that low. I thought maybe he'd have more of a chance than. That. He 
Yeah, Yunos knows the stats really well. He doesn't even have large shield. We, we don't have... Uh, did find the small shield in coal. We have not seen... Mm -hmm. I mean, he hasn't had to go in any towns. So... We haven't seen we haven't seen any shields. We haven't seen a large shield, although we've seen two silver shields. So, yes. you know, I, I'm I'm starting to think. Oh boy, he has. Well, that doesn't help. Oh, because he's cursed. But he's close to a town. He can use the inn. But, well, up to that point, he had five thousand gold, right? Yeah. You know, if he's got to grind another level or two, he could, you know, do the gold grind the hard way. Yeah, but it goes up pretty slow. Mm-hmm. Get to fourteen thousand eight hundred is just that'd be that take a that take right, longer so than you think. What do we have these guys? So what are these guys doing now? Well, he has not found Sherlock yet, so up to no good does not. They know both have seen Sir Sherlock. Oh, have they? Okay. Oh, well, I don't know. Yeah. So, big shake. What is, what is he looking, looking for? for? He's probably he's opening chests. I'll bet he's going to set up. I wonder. No, he's not opening them all. He's looking for a cave to set up the grind. He's looking. He's got to be setting up a gold grind. And you he's think of it like this. Be. Up to, to no good. Shield. Up to no good can't set up a grind until he takes that death necklace off. Because it takes you out of the castle. Yep. So he can't gold grind anyway. Yes, yeah, Shake has Erdrich's armor. Oh, sorry about that. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. I just had... I didn't update it. Yep, he's setting up a gold grind. No doubt about it. And unbelievable that Up to No Good does not have that option. So again, that's going to make a huge difference. Big Shake mm -hmm. has got a heck of a chance here. Got enough chests because he opened uh, a couple in Garenham as well. So he's got that that uh you call it the values are full he's to die oh. yeah and that would have been a great enemy to die to because they the drakimas have dragon lord breath maybe he doesn't realize that the town the town chests count too because it looks like he's going all the way down or he's hoping for Do the town chest count he, oh he only so he's got, got two. three so he's got five. Oh, five he's up to five now Plus the three in the, in the throne room, so then he'd have to get one more in the treasury, and then he'd have it infinite. Okay. So, but he might not. He might not realize that. I might have my count off too, but I think he got two. He didn't get all three. It, yeah. No, we, we haven't, haven't seen it, Larry. We have not seen it at all. So, but I, it doesn't feel to me like he's looking for the fighter's ring. It looks to me like he's just trying to open chest to. Set up the grind. Yeah, look, he's just... He's not even worrying about it now. Trying to die. No, he's definitely... This, yeah, this, this is... He wants to suicide. He's not going to suicide to a metal slime, though. Let's get some experience. Yeah, I just don't think he knew that Alan Tress counted. Maybe? I don't know. We can ask him about it later. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Blue Dragon, that should do it. <laughs> He's using Hurt. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good tactic, but uh, it's mm -hmm. maybe better to just use that... Uh, <laughs> just use that um, Dragon Scale, although that's what bit up to no good in the butt, so... The there we go. Necklace is dead. I mean, when you look at the fact that there is a 4,600 experience difference, and yet Dig Shake has a chance, that's unheard of. And they're and they're using the same build, right? I know exactly. It's because <laughs> uh, because he's got it. It's just the only thing Dig Shake needs is that attack power. Mm-hmm. He doesn't get it next level. He doesn't get it the level before that. So he needs three levels. Well, he needs. I'm not gonna go too far ahead, but 
He needs a lot of levels. I'm just going. I went up to as far as <laughs> uh, up to no good went. Um, okay. The only reason up to no good has the attack power he has is from that death necklace. So we do have a low strength seed. So we'll see what level 16 brings. So maybe it may, I, maybe they would have to go to level 16 anyways. So yeah. this this could be a case where it's not going to hurt him in the end. Yeah, if, if Dick, Shake, Dick Shake absolutely needs a big power boost or it's, or it's over. The only thing that's going to help Which we him, know he's not really going to get. Not, not at 15. You know, anytime soon. Nope, not at 13, 14, or 15. So looking less, less likely here. I know why that's. I was but trying to... he does get the silver shield. Yep. Whoops! The world happened. What happened? It just. I, for some, I was trying to, because it was capturing my mouse cursor, so I was trying to turn that off, but then it uh, captured a different window. Whoops. So, in trying to make uh, the stream less of a distraction, I made it more of a distraction. Yay me. <laughs> Whoops. Alright, so it looks like now they're both going to grind in Hawksness for a while. Yeah, probably. So what would be some good grinding music? <laughs> well, you know, let's like see some, if I can let's see no, if I can find like, some exciting Metallica let's see what I can find here <laughs> I don't have much I don't have much for music on my computer this is a newer computer I haven't switched everything over <laughs> well, now I gotta find something so what do we want? Do we want some Metallica? Do we want some something calm and soothing? You know, like some sort of instrumental melody. <laughs> Take it through the ad first. Went to YouTube. Let's see what we got here. Hey. Can we play the sound of silence? <laughs> So, basically, now we're waiting in the Shake's case, and in up to no good uh, case, we are waiting on HP. <laughs> this is pretty good. Oh, yeah, good oh, point, yeah. Larry. Thank you. Yeah, uh, forgot about that copyright thing. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, whoops. Hey, I'll just go yeah, back to the point. classical music. Exactly, just go back to the stuff we know works. My bad. Yep. Yeah, I forget about that whole copyright infringement stuff. There's one called All Defeat right, so... the Enemy. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, oh, he's going into Sherlock. Is well, he trying? Is he going down? Yeah, it doesn't surprise oh. me. I mean, He's got enough stats except for the agility. You know, the rolls, he's right at the limit of attack power, and he's got plenty of HP, or MP, plenty of MP. So, the only thing that would, so he's hoping for Dragonlord Breath. Hoping for Dragonlord Breath. Yep. He's hoping for Dragonlord Breath, and he's hoping for not too many red dragons on his way down that he can, you know, so we can actually run from some of these. Unfortunately, it's giving him a 5% chance. And the problem is, he's going to have to attack a lot of stuff on the way, because he's not going to be able to run. He's going to be burning some more right. on the way down. Just, I mean, what else are you going to do? You know, it's an elimination race. 
because of the kind of risks you take. Definitely a chance. I don't. I, I don't disagree with that. Not at all. He's probably emotionally just discouraged by putting that death necklace on, and it's like, well, gotta try. Maybe I don't know. We'll see. Might as well try. Want to see what it, I want to see what his state of mind is after this race. Um, I don't know. It's hard to say. I, I mean, can't imagine it's going to be anything but crushed. He's got to have some really good fun RNG, and it's just not going to happen with 67. You're talking less than 50%, less than 25% in some cases, chances of running away. And we have Dig Shake up to level 14 now. Okay. Sorry, I was looking at something. Dig Shake's on level 14. Okay. That's alright. Yeah, I just kind of want to mm -hmm. see the run chances for some of these enemies. Yeah, he's at 39%. And did you run put chance. the death necklace on? Oh, I'm sorry. Did you put the death necklace on the tracker for up to no good? Yes, and it automatically calculates okay. the stats for it. Okay. He's got a 70% chance of running from a star wyvern, but he has a literally 39% chance of running from armored knight. I didn't see any red dragons down here yet, but they're set 37%. No, I... So he's about 60 to 70 percent on the Star Wyvern. X Knight, a little bit better. Nope, about 70 percent. Yeah, so he's about 70 percent of the enemies that are down here, running away from him. He doesn't have, really have the. So attack hopefully power. he doesn't run into armored knights or red dragons. That's what he's looking to avoid. No yeah. armored knights, no red dragons. We can live with Star Wyverns and X Knights. Well, it's looking good. He's coming to the final floor already. This is unbelievable. If you would have told me he'd try to do this at 67 and get down there, I would have said no way. Oh, there's a red dragon. Oh, and he gets an excellent move oh on the red dragon. Goodness. How about that? One hit. Unbelievable. How many more of these is he going to get? Nope, there's an armored knight. Oh, he yeah, gets but he's away. almost there. So what's the enemy at the spot, though? Is the question. Like, if he oh, can... it's an armored knight. Okay, but he can he can attack and kill one of those if dodged. He's probably gonna have to use a heal more. Giving him a 5% chance of winning. If he has to use a heal more, oh, he uses herbs. And that's a 2% chance. He's using chance. his herbs. 5% chance. Why is it so low? I mean, it's probably just because of the low damage. 6 to 13 he'll do. And the uh, highest that he could do damage wise, the Dragon Lord. How is his HP oh, 102? How is his HP 102? Did he get a level? Because he's he got level, level 16? He got a level. Okay, I didn't catch that level. So that helps. The highest damage that the Dragon Lord can do is 53. Unbelievable. Oh. Here we go. He does not get back attacked. At 69 agility, he did not get back attacked. Talk about RNG. He might just pull this off. This is unbelievable. I'm yeah, 5% can't be right. I'm agree. He's up I to agree 20. with that. But that's what it says. This, uh... Oh, never mind. Okay, sorry. I forgot to calculate it for level 16. Went up to 88%. Okay, that's a big difference. Because of the okay, HP. So the HP and the, the, the extra the HP. damage. Yep. Sorry about that, guys. It says 5%, man. I don't know why, you know, but it says 5%. I agree with you. 5% is way too low. It had to be just because of the 98... The, the combination of the 98 HP and the 53 possible damage because of his low defense. But he's going to pull this off here unless something bad happens. He's getting good rolls. Things look, everything looks good. Race is likely and he's getting a lot, of, a lot of breaths. Uh, Lavkin, right now, he can only get meleeed for up to 53. 
even on level 15 it was 53. <laughs> yeah, you know, the program never takes risk. No, the 5% is the risk. He's up to 73 by my count. Still got... 7? Seven, 7 left. Ugh. Well, he took a chance here. And he breathed fire, that's what he needed. He got that... Stuck that double attack in. <laughs> yes, you know, something like that. That was a good low physical attack. Enough to get a double in, but he'll never get a double in unless... He's getting good rolls, 13s. He is getting some good rolls right now, which, or, which is nice because he was getting some, you know, rather low rolls earlier. Gonna come down to the end here. Up to, I've got him at one eighteen. I may have missed one, but I got him at one eighteen. Okay. This is this is this is this is getting butt clenching time. <laughs> it's gonna come down to the last attack. I think. I think he'll pull it off. Low. Fort, oh, that's gonna help. He's at one fourteen and a low damage. I think he's got it. I think he's got it. Oh man. One more attack. This comes down to the very last one. Oh, <gasps> oh, my, oh my gosh! What a finish! What a finish! The oh my the goodness! Big shakes. Oh be just my! Blown away. So he finishes up to NG. Finishes first place. Final time a one six. What a race! You know, it looked like it looked like he ran away with it, but then the death necklace idea gave Dick Shake a chance. Uh wow. So I like this. Dick Shake's gonna finish it out, and. Oh yeah, Dick Shake he's, doesn't. He's he, got unless even. he's extraordinarily frustrated, yeah, yeah, he's not going to. He's got, and it looks like he's Dick Shake's at level fifteen now, yep, and sorry, it looks I like he's going to head down. I was so excited about. Well, that, no, we uh, were kind of paying attention finish. to the battle. <laughs> <laughs> so his agility is sixty-seven. <sighs> wow, so that sounds like an up to. And with that ding, we have up to no good in Discord. Up to no good. Congratulations, my man. Great run. <laughs> Maybe we don't have them yet. Crickets. <laughs> Crickets. Well, let me check it. Oh, he's muted. Unmute oh. your mic. There you go. Unmute. <laughs> yes, unmute. Congratulations, yeah. sir. Take that death <laughs> necklace off. Yes. That was very stressful. Did you put you had us all stressed out there. We, you, take 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 it away, Z man. I, 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 go ahead. I'm assuming it was a mistake. Yes, it was a okay. mistake. <laughs> Just to give you an idea of what was going on, you had at that point when you put the death necklace on, you had a three thousand experience point lead over Dig Shake. You were absolutely in cruise control. You were just grinding up to get some strength. Yeah. And 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 then the entire race flipped almost. Crazy. And I knew where Brockenberry was, so I was trying to figure out if up there. And then my next level up, I got the hit points. So then I was yeah. like, well, maybe I'll leave it on. And then I realized I didn't have a silver shield. My defense was really low. Yeah. I had a gold grind for it, and then I was like, oh, wait, I can't get back into Tantigal because I'm right, cursed. Because you're cursed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, we, yeah. We, we figured that out, too, because we looked in, and uh, Dick Shake, Dick Shake uh, did set up the gold grind. And I that's when I said, you can't even do it if you wanted to. I had no business even getting into the Dragon Lord. Like, I had the best run luck ever. Like, I, I had. No. I, I shouldn't have been able to run from anything. Uh, no, my, you were under 70 agility. So low. You shouldn't have got down there. But what was nice is the types of enemies. You had uh, a lot of Axe Super Knights, lucky. 
A lot of Axe Knights, Wizard, and Star Wyvern, which you had a 70% chance of running from. And yeah. you had that one dra uh, red dragon that you excellent moved. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, like, I wasn't even going to try and run from that. I was just like, I got to fight this guy. <laughs> and just like, oh, I was super... <laughs> yeah, and that was because you were down... Uh, the way I had you is, if you did not kill the Dragon Lord on that hit, you were dead. Yeah. Really? Right. So yep. if, if you, yeah, if you had one less heal more, you wouldn't have won the fight. <laughs> it's just well i had to double heal i think twice because uh he yeah. could hit me for something like 54 yes something. 55 yeah. uh 53 it ended up being 53 53 was the number so yeah you did I, take I only a had 102 hit points i think so yeah. it was like eh, i don't know but you did it that was crazy I, i'm not sure if if dig shake was planning on using the death necklace at the end anyway i think it works out better at the end but yeah like in the middle of running around that was just He's, he's got, yeah, there's enough HP without the, you know, like you said, it, it, to where coming into it normally with this seed with the high HP probably would be throwing it on because you have literally no attack power. I mean, even yeah, with the from death the, necklace. Oh, once I put the death necklace on, uh, from the power versus MP standpoint, I felt like I could have gone a level earlier. I was just like, I have no agility. Right. I, just, I just wanted to grind yep, one more go. level, and then I didn't get any. So I was like, oh, man, i just going to go did. for it. Big Chick did just put the death necklace on, and he is at level 15. Yep. 15. Okay. So he's trying it at 15. 16, I believe. And uh, let's see what his chances are. Yeah, it's giving him a 97% chance. Well, he's got the low agility, but he's he got did the have the silver death necklace. So. No, he's got the silver shield. shield yeah. That's yeah, the, the big shield, difference. That's what I meant, yeah. When, when I... Uh, when that's I, when I calculated amazing, it, so it was actually pretty close then. When I calculated it for you it, at 15, though, it was only a 5% chance, because all you had was a small shield. When, when I went uh, kind of on a, a journey and found um, the South Shrine and, and uh, backdoored into uh, Tantigo, I really thought like I was going to be in the lead at that point. You were absolutely in the lead at that point. There was but no that doubt. gate was pretty far out of the way to find. What, uh, I don't know if we so I don't I know if you just said that. this or not, but right at the get-go, level one, you decided to do that little bit of exploration. You got some herbs. In Cantlin, you got a club because you kept resetting after the deaths. That made right. all the difference because Big Shake had no way to heal, and that extra attack power let you attack magicians. You took red slimes out in one hit. Wow! And you got that. Okay, hurt more. I was worried that it was the wrong idea. Like, because after I had done that, I was trying to grind. It was taking a long time. I thought maybe he might have found something. He got ahead of you just, by like a level. Just that one town or two. But then you just I feel like when you get the gold in the treasury room in the very beginning of the game, you sort of want to find a town, you know, yeah. so that you can buy some equipment, but it doesn't always work out. But so. that's what it all came down to in this particular seed. Uh, wow, yeah. so he didn't go out and nope. fought, try and find anything. He was just looking for blue slimes. I couldn't even kill a red slime. Okay. We had four strength. I know. Yep. And yeah, that in, was... Yep. In his case, he's sitting there, even at a 30, 35 minutes in, going, this is just a really tough seed, and he's he did everything right except that level one exploration with the gold from the treasury that was brutal wow able to find keys in a timely manner i i didn't find rimildar ever and i just happened to get into the back door of tense eagle there he did that keys. but he didn't do that until about 55 minutes in okay yeah neither one of you actually found rimildar wow let's see the things that you didn't <laughs> find let's talk about what you didn't find you didn't find rimildar you didn't find mountain cave uh, yeah. Dig Shake did go into the grave to set up his gold grind, but he didn't even. He wasn't. Gotcha. He, he was. He wasn't interested. Was the uh, was the fighter's ring in there? I was kind of hoping for the fighter's ring, it, and I he, never found he it. He didn't open everything though. He didn't open all the chests in Garenham. Didn't it open just all the. Set up the grind. Just enough to set up. The That's grind. what I was planning on doing, but I was cursed. <laughs> I was right. Like, oh no. <laughs> oh, what a race! Once you put that. I was halfway on, through with the grave, actually. We're, we're, yeah, that's right. We're sitting here going, geez, this, this ending's just going to be you know, up to no good, just mopping the floor. I and mean, then we thought, Dick Shake's got a I was even going to make it to the Dragon Lord. Like, trying to go on like 60 something agility is just very stressful. Man, I'm watching Dick Shake fight the Dragon Lord here, and he is just getting oh, absolute no. crap for rolls. Oh, that's too bad. Six. Too. Yeah. Oh, that's unfortunate. He's not going to do you it. You need quite a lot of attacks. Nope, so. He didn't do it. He died died on level 15 oh. yeah level 15 was only slightly worse no. i think you only oh, get like two two 
And Dig Shake, unfortunately, just forfeits after yeah, that. That's after that. That's a good try on level 15. Uh, he actually moved it down there. That's good. So we're going to welcome him into the Discord, see if he wants to join us. I can imagine sure. he's surprised. Um, you know, he's he has no idea how the how your beginning went, so he's going to be surprised to find out. Yeah, he doesn't want to. I, I figured. Um, okay. So he's he's uh, yeah. Th pretty those were the two things I think. Uh, getting a little bit of equipment. It was only the club, but yeah, it did it did allow me to actually hit <laughs> some things because uh, the club is only I think plus four. Right, but it made all the difference. Red slimes. You That's like magician. a big difference. And I, I decided to try and uh, attack some medium enemies a little early, like uh, yep. you know, the wolf and those wolf. kind of things. I was doing like two or three damage, but we we learned heal more at that point. So yep. it was but sort of like if I can out. just outlast this guy, it's a lot of experience. Yeah, that's the other thing. Well, credit to Dig Shake for it's uh, for a good race. He, you know. Yeah. And get down there on level 15 is is an accomplishment for sure. That was that's that was a stressful seed with low agility. He uh, he put up a good fight. Didn't do anything wrong except, you know, it's it's hard to say. Those are the gambles that make all the difference. You know, I got money in the treasury. Do I go look for a town. Do I grind? Yeah. yeah. I can't tell you how many times that backfires on me. Like I, I'll look around for a town for 10 minutes, reset, 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 and there's just no town. You know, mm -hmm. thing on you for. 10 minutes and you're still at zero so yeah he uh the, the they're, they're talking about the the uh hp of the dragon lord it's 158 so it was fairly i mean not it was it wasn't okay the high. You know, wasn't I, the... I had seen uh dig shake's previous race and i know he's been running some practice runs i, I knew he was going to be pretty good at this game i don't think no. Oh yeah. I feel like neither one of our seeds are kind of reflective, but it's be right. tough. So credit and to him for and, a yep. close so race. You yeah. move on, and let me see if I can pull it up. I have it here. We can, we can talk about who you face next. Oh, well, um, uh, I just had it. Uh, you are going to face the, I believe it is the loser of the Mister Holmes Edgeworth match. And I see. Okay. Is that one scheduled yet? Mr. Holmes and Edgeworth? Uh, uh, let me check. I got it Mr. Up Holmes and Edgeworth is not yet scheduled. So from we'll what just I just have see. to wait and see who you're going to fight. So, well, that's exciting. I I kind of assume, well, you can never assume in this game, but I would Holmes the slight edge there. Uh, I'm sure that if I ended up facing Mr. Holmes, I would definitely be an underdog. <laughs> so, uh, he's pretty darn good, but I'll be watching that match. You, you look yeah, he's, at, he's, he's he's pretty good at this game. Yeah, but, but you look at you look mm. at this seed though, or you look at the Jay Coper you know seed, it, and when everybody's got the experience they do, you know you're you're making all the right moves. It's it comes down to one or two decisions. So I'd say you mm -hmm. got just as good a chance at Mr. Holmes as as anybody. I wouldn't discount yourself. I think there's a good chance to put up a good fight there. I oh, appreciate it. I hope so. It's gonna be it's gonna be fun. I was just I was glad to at least one win one match in this tournament. <laughs> well, you got your one <laughs> more time at least. <laughs> when you got, your, you got your one win, let's go for another one. Who knows? Uh, who knows how far to go? But really good race. Yeah, it should be fun. All all these races have been great to watch. It's been fun to participate. The Excellent. It's, it's a lot of fun. I know we're getting some good viewers uh, mm -hmm. in these restreams. I uh, appreciate Absolutely. all the people restreaming and commentating. It's been it's been awesome. Yeah. And, and, you know, speaking of this, we should probably head over to Randomizer Mania right now and catch up on yeah, let's, uh, let's the race. There was a late night match over there, right? Yeah. Okay. Let's, do yeah, a, let's uh, head over there then. Let's do a raid message, something like watch the VOD or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta see the vibe of this one. Uh, right, do you have control? Yeah. How do I? I don't think I have control to send it and host it over. So I don't have control uh, I don't of the have actual control. stream. Is, uh, Game Boy's not here anyway. Who, oh, to to host from there, yeah. Well, I don't know. I'm not so, sure no, how we'll, to do that. 
if there's anybody here that's yeah, in be the chat that can... Yeah, I'll be over there. I'm watching the end of that race. Well, and even if we can't host it, head on over to, uh, is it is it Randomizer Mania? Uh, the the regular channel. Lincoln. There yeah. it is. Yeah, fantastic. I got it. Oh, there. And we'll, right. we'll watch the end of that race. So. <laughs> nice race up to the All right, so... We'll see in, uh... Nice, thanks. I guess I'll sign off. Yep. Absolutely. Congratulations, sir, and I look forward to seeing you in the next round. Thank you. All right. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So before handing off to Randomizer Mania, the original, just really quick, we've got a couple races for you tomorrow. In the upper bracket, we have Game Boy F9 versus Lavkian tomorrow night at 9 p.m. And we have Ness Cardinality versus Angry Larry tomorrow night at 11 p.m. Both of those are on Randomizer Mania. Also tomorrow in the lower bracket, we have Amazing Ampharos versus Slurpy Ninja tomorrow at 10 p.m. here on Randomizer Mania 2. So, I think we're going to send everybody off to Randomizer Mania. Ladies and gentlemen, have a wonderful night in RCT Mid. I will let you take us out. All right. Have a good night, everybody.